Hi, uh, I'm Sabir Ahmed. Welcome you again to Basic Math Lab for Scientist course. Uh, today, I'm going to teach you about introduction to math lab. Uh, in, this, in this lecture, you will learn about basic vector and matrix and how you can make a program, how you can code that with math lab. Basically, this course uh, is designed for the science student, especially for physics, chemistry, mathematics, geology, geophysics, and geophysicists who are unknown of this and basically the undergrad and even who do not uh, have any idea about programming in MATLAB. And I chose MATLAB because it's very uh, easy. There are lots of built in functions, uh, so it is really very easy for us to. Uh, explore what kind of functions and, and look something like that and moreover there are lots of uh, mathematical functions are here so we can use in both geophysics seismology the same thing okay so i assume uh, all the students or all the viewers of this lectures have a basic mathematical idea especially of matrix especially of uh, inverse theory and if you're from geophysics, then if, if you have basic geophysical idea or basic vector matrix uh, idea, then I'm sure you can do it easily. So I assume that you do have basic mathematical idea. Okay, so let's get started. So in this lecture, we will learn about uh, arrays, matrices, one and multidimensional array, and special characters. So uh, we will talk about arrays, matrix, and it's one and multi or polydimensional arrays and some special characters. So these are the main topics, main contents of this lecture. I'm going through a very, very basic parts. Uh, it's only matrix and vectors and arrays. So if you do find that it is not essential for you to get through the video, you can skip this and go to the next video. Okay. So before going through this we must have to know what is array okay so array is nothing but a collection of data values organized into rows and columns and known by a single name okay i have i, I have got this definition from a book matlab programming for engineers this third edition stephen j chapman Okay, so I've got this section. So, what is array? Array is nothing but collection of data organized into rows and columns. So, for example, these are the table. These are table, okay, one of the tables. So, it has one, two, three, four, four columns, right? One, one column, two column, three columns, and four columns. Right? And it has four rows as well, right? Okay, so if the data are stored in a rows or column in organized way, then it is called an array. Okay, if we uh, try to identify a row uh, with i and column by j, then we, we will have four columns and four rows. So i can be 1 to 4 and j can be also 1 to 4, right? So this is the first column and first row. That means i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1, right? So th the value of this column and row is 1, 1. Okay, so data stored here in this in, in in this box is identified by one one that means it is stored in number row row number one and column number one right okay the same way we can identify any data from its grid point or matrix point for example this so this is the second column and third row so it will be represented by third row that means i would be three and j would be two right so the first value represents the row values and the second value represents the row column value right i think you you have understand about that okay so these are the columns and these are the row okay so these are the arrays okay so we will see uh, array can be classified into two things number one vector and matrix so what is vector and what is matrix vector is one dimensional array that means it uh, it can be a row or it can be a vector for example it, it has only one one row but four columns right five columns one two three four five columns so it is a vector 
at the same time uh, we have one two three four five six rows and one column so it is called a, also a row vector column vector this is a column vector and this is a row vector so it must be a column vector okay okay at the same so is, these are the vectors one dimensional address are called vectors okay so two or more dimensional address are called matrix so here uh, we have one two three four so four columns and four okay i'm sorry got ah good thing i'm sorry go back here yeah. okay so here we have uh, four columns and four four vectors right so these are the these are a matrix ah, okay so we can determine size of a vector or matrix from its number of rows and number of columns for example it has one row and five columns that's why it is called one into five array it is called row vector at the same time it has six rows and one column it is called a six into one array that means row vector so its dimension is there is a dimension right so its, its dimension is one into five and its dimension is six into one and is this the matrix and what is the dimension of this matrix or the size of the matrix size of the matrix is 4 into 4 that means it has 4 rows and 4 columns okay so i think you have got an idea about what is rows what is column what is matrix uh what is a uh, uh, vector something like that okay so if you go to the practical examination in MATLAB. Uh, then we will see so how we can create a vector how we can create a matrix in MATLAB how we can um, Create a one-dimensional two-dimensional polydimensional multi-dimensional matrix how we can um, uh, uh, Operate those matrix vectors something like that. So we will see at this moment. Okay, so let's get to MATLAB So here is the MATLAB Okay so for example, you want to make a, a vector, for example, uh, name A. A is a vector. Okay. Uh, I think, okay, so before going before, before going to start this, I think uh, we, we have to know other some important things, some special characters here. Okay. So I'm going to make you understand what is some special characters. We have some special symbols here in MathLab. We should know all about that. These are the, these are the third bracket. First brackets, comma, semicolon, and inverted comma. So why you should know about this? I emphasize to understand about these symbols used in MATLAB very clearly. Otherwise, you will make some confusion. You will make lots of error with this. So you must have to understand the symbols used. So where to use this? Where to use this? And where to use others? Okay. Okay. If you want to make a Constructor if we want to make a matrix or if you want to make a make an array we have to use uh, this hard brackets, okay, for example, we want to make a uh, Array or matrix C then we will have uh, This is a matrix then the matrix will be closed by the third brackets, okay, so semi what is first brackets, okay? First bracket is nothing. First bracket is, for example, C is a matrix we created in this, right? Okay. So these are the rows and these are the columns. Okay. So identify of an element or elements we have to use first brackets, right? Okay. So C is a matrix. So the uh, so first value is a row and third, second value is column. So we can identify this. Okay. Separates the matrix element. So C is the matrix. So one, two, three, five are the elements of matrix, and these are separated by comma, right? So comma generally are used to separate uh, uh, matrix elements. On the other hand, also we, if we want to identify an element uh, from a matrix, then we can also use comma to separate its row from its column. Okay, so here, so. Comma can be used in two purposes, but to separate the elements of a matrix, and the same time, comma can be used uh, for a matrix identification. Okay, semicolon. Semicolon is very important thing. Semicolon has three extinct, uh, distinct uses. First of all, is 
separate matrix element not matrix elements separate uh, row from C O L M M S column okay. for example these are the matrix element right one two three five two 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 example okay so until we put comma until you put semicolon it will be represented a one column one row so this is the rows with the one row so it will be one two three five in one row so uh, in one two three four four columns so commas generally uh, what what semicolon does semicolon does separate uh, rows from rows okay rows sorry rows from rows sorry i i, I made a mistake here rows from rows here so these are the rows so i'm going to show you in in matlab don't worry about that these are the rows okay so bear in mind about that okay suppress a command execution i'm going to see you okay suppress an assignment statement on the line i'm going to teach you about that in matlab okay inverted comma marks the limit of character string so i'm i'm uh, i'm going to also um teach you about the uses of inverted comma in matlab okay so i'm going to show you okay now i think we should go to matlab okay so let's uh, make a make an array or make matrix uh, for example two dimensional matrix okay so one two dimensional matrix two rows definitely it must be two rows or two columns or something like that so matrix must be um, created using the third brackets right okay for example i want to um, create uh, three rows and three columns okay one comma two comma three so three columns this is one row this is the first rows okay so two comma three comma four okay so uh, this is the first rows okay this is the second rows and i'm gonna create third rows four comma five comma six so okay so we have used we have already learned uh, the use of comma and use of semicolon so semicolon separate the rows so we have three rows right one two and three and comma separate the matrix element or the columns from each other so this is the one column this is the one column so i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, show you about that how to use that again so if i execute this then you will see so one two three there is the one row one two three first row the second row is Two, three, four. The second row is two, three, four. Okay, and the third row is four, five, six. And the third row is four, five, six. Okay, so these are the third column. This is the second column. This is the first column. So second column is third column is three, four, and six. Three, four, six. So every columns, every column is separated by comma. In every row is separated by every row is separated by semicolon. Okay, so we have other uses of semicolon so what is that so i say that suppress the execution so uh, we didn't put if we uh, if we have put uh, the semicolon uh, end of this command line then for example here then it wouldn't execute right so it didn't execute execute is operation but it executes so if we want to suppress any command execution then we have to put a semicolon here as well okay okay that's great so we have understand uh, so we can also create a vector for example b vector uh, one two three four five six. okay so this is a vector so this is the one dimensional vector so what is the dimension of this vector dimension of this vector it has a, a five row five columns and one row so one into five one into five what vector row vector it's not a column vector it's a row vector so what is the dimension or size of this vector one two three it is a three into three right so three into three matrix three, three into three dimensional matrix okay great so these are the basic ideas of rows and columns arrays and one and two dimensional matrices okay so I, I think you, you have understood all about that okay let's get into details things okay so uh, there are some idea 
Okay, so uh, anyone may question me that um, if I want to add a, uh, for example, um, uh, and uh, arrays or column something like that, one to hundred, then we cannot uh, put it manually uh, one to hundred, right? So what you can do, so definitely we do have some special option. For example, we can create another vector x is equal to for example, so if you want to uh, row 1 to 100, so this colon means 1 to 100, okay? So we can create a row vector that means 1, right? So another, if you want to another, mm, another, another row 1 to 100, right? So these are, these are the two rows. And uh, in every row, um, it has 100 column, one, 1 to 100. So we, we wrote it here by separating uh, every element by comma. Okay, but here we can do that even using colon. Okay, so if you do that, oh, okay. Column 1 to 6, column 1 to 6, column 1 to 6. So this is the one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 26. These are the, um, uh, the, the first row and this is the second row. Okay, so in every row we have 100 values, right? Okay, so we can do that. Even we do have some other options. Same, if we want to put here in every 10 interval, then what we can do? Yes, we do have some options. Okay, x equal to, for example, 1 into 10 interval into 100. Semicolon. 1 to 10 interval into uh, up to 100 so up to 100 okay so what does this mean this just mean that uh, uh, we need data from 1 to 100 uh, with 10 interval same thing we want to row uh, from 1 to 100 uh, with 10 interval okay so we can use this yeah 1 11 21 31 41 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, 2. Okay, so this is an array, right? Okay, so what is sub arrays? The part of any arrays, for example, if you want to choose only, uh, only uh, um, first row and second, first row and second row, and first row and second row. So if you want to get uh, 1, 1, and 1, uh, 11, and 11. Then this is called the sub arrays, sub of x. Okay, so how we can uh, execute this? How we can do that? X is a vector, right? So if you want to make a sub arrays from a, uh, x, for example, here is sub array. So x, so from x, right? So I've already said that the x is a already matrix, right? So uh, any element can be accessed through x using its um, row and column number right so if we want only the first row second row and only the first column and second column then what you can do so fa first and second row separated by the columns column would be the only the first and second so we want the both rows that means we want the four elements one one that means the uh, first rows one and second rows one and we want the both column 1 1 11 11 okay so, so only the four numbers so how, how can we do that so oh okay so there is an uh, i made an error so um, i've already said that uh comma have two uses so this must be comma uh, it can separate column from column and in this case to identify to identify matrix to identify an element of an of, of a matrix so this so you've got this 1 1 and 11 11 right so if you want to take only 31 31 and 61 61 then how we can do that we can do that easily so j x also we want uh, 31 31 that means the both rows so one two, two both rows okay fine and the column is um, one two three four four column and four and seven columns 31 31 61 61 okay so what is this four 
four and five, six, seven, and seven. Okay, so we can do third bracket here, four and seven here. So, oh, again, we put a semicolon here, so we can copy it here, paste, and then we can put a comma. We can, yes. We've got 31 and 31, 61 and 61. Okay, so we can do that easily. We can do that easily. So, what if we can change any element's value? For example, if we want to change the value of this. So, we, we, we made a mistake that uh, we put a value of this and so you want to change of this value if you want. So, what you can do that? Definitely, we do have some options. So, how we can do that? Uh, we can do that using, for example, x. Um, so, we don't have to change. Uh, we have to change only the column row 1, right? Row 1. So, row 1, invert it, and column 4. What is the column? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So, column 6. So we want to change the um, row one. Who want to change the value? Who is from row one and column six? Okay, so row one and column six value would be changed to say for example four. Okay, four. Yes. So we have changed the value of this four. We can replace this value. Okay, so what if we want to change uh, um, both row? 51, 61, and 61, 4, all the four values, then how we can do that? Then, then uh, we will change the both rows, that means column both rows, and uh, both rows, and column, uh, column yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 7 columns. So, how we can change x, both rows, we want to change the both rows, okay, comma, and mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, and 7. Okay, so we can use here a comma as well. So we we want to change this, right? If you if you want to give a space, it's all right, but we can also give a comma here. So we want to change the four values. How we can do that? So If you want to change zero, zero. So the, the four values of this matrix X became zero. Okay. So these are the things and these are the ways we can do that. Okay. So another things I'm going to show you. If you want uh, change uh, from, uh, if you want to change all the values of row one from. Uh, column 3 up to the end right so okay so we have okay, we can do that easily of only row 1 and we can change from um, row 3 up to row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 it would be say for example 1 okay one. we can do it easily so that is another way. This is the A10 is the last column, right? So we can, uh, if we could, if we uh, use end, that means up to end three columns, three columns or three columns up to end, that means up to 91, then we can also use the end function. So we can use end, so it will show the same result. Okay, so if we want to put two or three, something like that. For example, here three, we can yes, that's it. So we can do that easily, and we can modify all the things uh, however you want and however according to your preference. Okay. So if you want to uh, make a square matrix, that means a uh, number of rows and number of columns the same, then we can manually input this, right? So for example, this one, um, this is the square matrix, right? 
So if you want to, uh, uh, if you want all the matrix values would be one or zero, then we can do that easily, right? And easy. So a, so this, this matrix is a. This matrix is a. So a. So we have three bed, three columns and three rows. Uh, so one, two, three, comma, one column three would be zero, zero. All the values became zero. So if we want to put here uh, one, then one it becomes one. Okay. So we can do this. So this is the zero, all the values of this matrix zero and all the values of this matrix is one. Okay, so we have some built-in functions here in MATLAB. So we can easily, so if you want to create, for example, 50 by 50, um, uh, 50, by 50 matrix, then we cannot put, uh, we cannot, uh, we cannot put um, every element value manually right so we have some uh, we have some uh, we have some functions of that so okay I have to attend a call I'm sorry I have to attend a call okay anyway so we, we can um, use that so we have some built-in function for example if you see here in presentation then you can see zeros uh, here we have some zeros function, zeros nm, zero size r, one, one size i, i length, size, size of an array. So uh, we can I easily identify how we can this. So for example, a we we had three columns and three rows. So if we put size bracket a, then we could have uh, we, we could have get the size of this arrow. That means three into three. Okay. So length, it is the length of a vector along its dimension of 2D array. So we can easily get 2D arrays from the length of this function. Okay, this important function is zeros, generated into n into n matrix uh, of zeros. So that means we, if we put, uh, uh, for example, 5, then we'll get uh, 5 rows and 5 columns of zero. So all the 5 rows and 5 columns element will be zero. So if we put, uh, for example, n equal to 4 and m equal to 5 then we'll have four rows and five columns that means the four and five matrix of zero okay size and of an array so we know uh, if you know the size of this array that means if we know the size of an array of a we know the size of an array is 3 into 3 that means it will create a 3 into 3 matrix and whose element would be zero right okay element would be zero at the same way, once we can once that means it will uh, create all the n into n matrix of one, uh, n into n matrix will be one. Sorry, uh, I made a mistake here. Uh, yes. So what is the diagonal matrix? Uh, generates uh, i. So what is i? The very important thing generates n into n identity matrix. Okay. So I I'll, I'll show you later. N into n into m generates n into m identity matrix. Identity matrix that is mean that uh, identity matrix diagonal diagonal values of an element diagonal values of a matrix. Okay, so let's um, uh, test uh, about this. Uh, let's test this function to uh, MATLAB. So we'll test zeros n m zeros something like that. Okay. So J E R O S zeros as back is so if you want five then it will what happen oh I think I made a mistake um G E R O S yes J E R O S Oh, I'm <laughs> spelling mistakes here. I'm sorry, silly mistakes here. Okay, zeros. Five. It will create the uh, five rows and five columns here. So it will five into five uh, dimensional matrix here. So if you want to put here zeros, J G R O 
as gels four into five four comma five then we'll get uh four rows and five columns so uh, we know the we uh, if you want to know the size of a if you want to know the size of for example a then you can use the function size is i j p size a then we'll get t into t that means t rows and t columns so if you want to j t r o as j t r o j rows size is i j t size of a then we can easily so j rows so you want to make a matrix uh whose size is same as the a right okay so we can do that this t into t the same way we can make a mm, ones for example when you was when it wants for example five to create the five rows and five columns matrix if the element is one so it's the same thing we can do that here uh if you want to this is um, six comma five so it will create a matrix of six rows and five columns here at the same time we can minus ones for example uh, we want the we want to create a matrix of one uh, whose dimension is same as the a so a is equal to sign equal to a a yes we can do that okay so what is i it will create a matrix so let's see what is i it will create identity matrix for example five yeah. we know identity matrix is that matrix whose diagonal values are one okay so it will create i will create a diagonal matrix or entry matrix of five rows and five columns whose, whose diagonal would be one okay so we made this so if you want to create a four rows and five columns and whole matrix would be the one five rows and six columns for example okay so it will create the five rows and six columns one two three four five six okay because every diagonal values is one for but you didn't see one here is zero why because it's not a diagonal right so if you could um, identity matrix you will get all the matrix in square matrix perfectly okay so we have uh, understand all the things of this lecture i hope you have understood of this basic vectors and basic mat mat matrix and dimensions one dimension two dimension three dimension so it's really very basic things i hope you you have understood all about that so in next lecture we will see matrix and matrix operation that means how you can um, use matrix in operational procedure in mathematical or in basic science procedure okay so we'll see that okay thank you very much for being with us i hope see you in next video thank you